Hey, Roy, uh, Dennis Feidner, CFO on to go. Hey, thanks for sending that Excel thing, but um, let me show you what I did here. I just kind of made this part of another job, but I, I took your uh, floor finishing, and what we use is, it's, it's, this looks like Excel is really not. It's, it's really a part of the program. Uh, I went over here, and I, I so when the next time I bid a job, I would just have to enter in uh, the square feet for that job, and then if the coverage is going to change for that job, the coverage for those different coatings. Uh, once I do that, uh, this the math is already done over here for me. So uh, it took the 2,000 divided by the 250, came up with eight gallons just like you did times 65, which we bring in from the database. So I got eight gallons. Uh, total cost is 520. Sales tax. I think my sales tax rates off a little bit from yours, uh, but then I come up with my total cost. Uh, our overhead are a little different than yours uh, because I think you do those separately. We do ours kind of compounding. Uh, but long story short, uh, I then entered all of the items you have for labor, where it just says enter labor hours. So I entered one hour just so you can see how this works. Did your 29.69, which is your uh, unburdened rate. Um, and then with 18 and the 15 in our formula, I come up with it about 20 cents of what you had. Uh, we can kind of narrow that down, but I don't think you're going to miss a job because of a nickel or 20 cents. So in this case, uh, let me just scroll up in your spreadsheet over here. I have it over here somewhere else. Hang on a second. So, you know, you had one hour here, and I think you had, uh, you know, one and a half here. I come down to vacuuming, and I think you had five here. And so we just, you just come in and enter those hours, and then uh, I recalculate this, and now it's going to calculate all that out. Okay, and it just scrolls down. Uh, got all those parts in there. Whoops, went a little too far. And then down here, you're going to enter your equipment costs, how many days of equipment you have with your rates, which come from the database, with whatever markups you want. Uh, if I scroll down a little bit more, I do have then have the miscellaneous costs like you had it with the fat and your costs coming in from the database. So that is your entire Excel spreadsheet uh, redone into Master Builder's estimating. Now, you want to know why you want to use this? A couple of reasons. One is once this is done and you get the job, I can take all of these cost budgets over to the accounting side now so that I get Barron's reports for each job. If I'm going to buy those materials, like all that paint items up top, I can actually create the purchase order to buy those items. Uh, and if I want to do RFPs for pricing, I can do that as well. So that's how simple our estimating is on the basic side. Uh, obviously, I did a quick and dirty. You should probably have parts numbers for all of these here. Uh, I would save this as a template with no quantity. So every time I want to get a job, I pull in a, a floor finishing template. Boom, I enter in my quantities, coverage rates, check my double check my prices, uh, come in here and enter these quantities, and I'm done. And I can go right out to a proposal from this as well. So that's why I think you want to probably tie this in. It's $13.95. Uh, but once you get this set up and, and get, and, and Roy, I'm not a, I own the company. Uh, I used to do this, and I now have 17 consultants that work for me. But uh, I don't do this very often. I had to call and answer, ask one question because so I was getting a bad answer. But uh, I did this in about 15 minutes. Uh, so we can teach somebody over there how to do the exact same thing. So you may have what we call an assembly up here for floor finishing. You may have one for uh, floor, you know, concrete grinding, another one for something else. But uh, each of those templates will just be able to be used over and over again. So all you have to do is key in the quantities, just like you are in Excel. But this is going to go straight to a proposal with your logo. It's going to actually create the purchase orders. To, in this case, uh, up here, whoops, it's going to create a purchase order to Home Depot to buy those materials. Anyway, that's short and sweet. I'd love to dive into this a little deeper with you, but like I said, I'm uh, on my way to another meeting now, and then I'm in. Uh, I'm at with clients and a prospect uh, all day tomorrow. Uh, probably won't be back until really late, uh, but I will be in the office all day Wednesday except from 11 to 12 I have a meeting. So uh, take a look at it, see what you think, and let me know. Thanks.